the other goes home a loser. Because in boxing, unlike most sports, gravity works downwards. You gotta be with me. Hey, hey listen, Derek, Derek Zachary, Zachary, don't shit on no one. But uh, roll, I fan. do like to piss up. Think about Mad Not Dog exactly is. Think about becoming is. a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I can do in the rap game. I want Stop. shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. I say shit. Oh, hey, man, it's cool. That's cool. Ain't hey, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? Doing drinks. I got shoes, tires, rims. Thinking, you know, next day should be a full-on superstar, you know? Get to wear a tight suit and nail a lot of tail, you dig? You know what I do in real life? You gotta get me a drink, though, right now. Thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park. Unless they take up mine. And finally... Foreign news. Hey, a suspected up? U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But home. we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forger, WCPR News. Let's... Coming up next, the most mind-numbing thing since the lobotomy. Entertaining America. While I'm looking down at this you. week on Entertaining America, Richard Goblin, one man's triumphant return to cock. The Sherman Octuplets, a Venturist hey, man says he's you. slept with them all. Plus, noise, speed, danger, cursing, and patriotism finally come together this weekend at the All-America Drum Driving Cup. Hi from Vinewood, you're on Entertaining America with me, Billy Dexter, bringing you everything that is important in culture and entertainment, if there is a difference between the two, from the heart of entertainment in America, Vinewood San Andreas. You with me, the Dex. Wanted to call the show Stack the Dex, but not yet. Kiff Lum. Anyway, great. Big show for you this week. Controversy, they'll be giving me a Pulitzer. Anyway, today, we've got some great guests. First up, we speak to troubled action hero Jack Howitzer. Then we have a live phone leak up with a very special guest, Modern Day Lazarus, a man back from the grave now making it as an extra in major motion pictures. Then, I will explain the secrets of the universe to everyone. But first up, stack the decks in which I, Billy Dexter, meet the entertainers in the news. Kiflam. Jack Howitzer, once the biggest star in America, but the last three years have been unkind. People describe him as a dinosaur, an action hero relic from the 80s, a muscle-bound Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, Welcome to the show, Kid Long. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times, and I was also a huge fan of, of Zero Seconds to Death. Thank you, day. thank you. But many say your new film has gone too far. No, this is a romantic comedy with drama. It's got action. It's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself, fighting a war that someone else lost. Challenging hey, role you're pushing yet. me. We're here, Tim. A preschool for slow children. You're the new teacher, Tim. Special needs cop. Yeah. It's the story of a psychotic ex-marine showing tough love to special ed kids. One of you tards has been running Peruvian flake through the special ed school, and I'm gonna find it. No juice and cookies. You know you suck, Tim. But soon, he becomes one of them. Who is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Oh, you got it, shot yourself. Way to go. He was finally beginning to live a window. Stand there for hours each night. Lure him in. Trapping rogue spirits is dangerous work, especially topless. Yo, Take lots of photographs. All right, who's got a theory for me? Next. Yo, I'm in the show. But when are you guys going to start Let's seeing go, the bigger CJ. picture? We're being lied to, man. And guys like you don't help much, you know? You're virtually one of them. Soon you know what I'm talking about. If people could please just attempt to make sense, that's all I'm asking. Last night, as I was laying in my pod meditating, and it occurred to me, why are you even listening to me? Turn off all electrical devices, including your radio. Hector and Sam Garcia, why? You still listen. Because I was hoping you could explain these noises. What noises? God, that's you too. Think about the things we talked about today. Think. Seriously, think. Can it be real? 
can it be false? We'll see you next time in Area 53. Be careful out there, wherever you are. That was Area 53. We're sorry. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Kilimanjaro. There's nothing bigger. You're as big as a mountain. Now dress like one. Gain the confidence and freedom to really eat again. When you were little, your mom got you clothes you could grow into. The same applies here. Kilimanjaro. Because she loves love handles. If eating for you means nine trips to the buffet, if exercise means picking up the remote, if making love means eating three hot dogs, if you've got bigger breasts than your wife, then don't walk, and especially don't run, but drive very slowly down to Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. We've got the clothes for you. From romper suits for wearing around the house to outsized Hawaiian shirts and elasticized trousers for the outfit. I have flashbacks and go into hysterics and fly in class. Do you know what it's like growing up in a beaker? That's all today on I Say You Say. We share last names, but that's about it. I'm Peyton, Watch that's my wife Mary, and this is I Say You Say, where left is right and right is wrong. Or where east meets west and the west always wins. That wall came down, darling. Yes, unfortunately it did. I, I don't know if you saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it as they think? Is it Cher and Cher Mike? Love your fellow man and all wear matching jumpsuits while working on the point of hydroponic farm growing potatoes? Or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, work things out. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the phones! Uh, yeah, here's the deal. I'm really funny, but nobody wants to hire somebody funny. I mean, how is that fair? I mean, I'm white, middle class, very erudite, um, you know, whatever that means. But the people just respond badly to me. I, I don't understand it. Are you related to my husband? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think so. I hope not. Have you got a question about politics? Yeah, sure. I know a lot about politics. Hey, can I do your job? You know, I used to be on the radio back in the day. Even my husband can't do his job, you strange, pathetic little sap. Let's have a real caller, please. Hi, my name's Michelle. I'm a first-time caller of the show. I wanted to know if you guys thought about the proposition to ban smoking. Well, this is a simple issue. Smoking. Democracy at work again in our state. I'm right behind the proposition. Me too. Thanks, Michelle. I also wanted to say hi to my stepbrother, Phil, who's been undergoing a hair transplant today. Hey, Phil, if you're listening, I hope it's six this time. I won't tell anyone you've got plugs, honey. I'm really proud of you. That's great, honey. But if you want shout-outs, call the rap station. That's offensive. And I'm really offended by what you're saying. I'm a smoker. This used to be a free country. When? Ha! Oh, my God. Gotcha. Yes, good point. But remember, our founding fathers grew to that Relax them between stressful stints of genocide and witch burning. And you're so against raising taxes, smokers pay more taxes than anyone. My grandfather smoked his whole life. <laughs> and he lived until he was 32. So what I'm saying is, why can't we encourage more smoking and use the money to pay for better health care and some cultural programs? Bringing expressive dance and sun worship back to the inner cities. Worrying about the inner city has ruined your academic career. And this woolly thinking is going to ruin your chances of getting anywhere with me tonight. The thing is, smoking is good because it lets people make a lot of money, but so is selectively culling the population. So what I'm proposing is a change in the proposition. Let people smoke, but make cigarettes much cheaper and force everyone to smoke. That way we weed out the weak, make a lot of money in tax, and keep our national heritage intact. Line two, you're on I Say, You Say. Ah, I listen every time to your show. It really made me think about the world a whole new way. I moved out of the city because it sucks. Now I live in a compound surrounded by barbed wire and shoot and kill anyone I don't recognize on my land. Just want to say thank you. That's some quality broadcasting. Yeah, uh, thanks. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Have you got a question? Yeah, I got corpses from 15 illegal immigrants in my yard. I killed them all myself with my bare hands. Can I get a tax break for all this unpaid work? Good question. I would certainly hope so. Ask your accountant if you can register them as dependents. Then hide most of your net worth offshore in a complex money laundering system designed to support the drug trade. 
then you can pay virtually no taxes and complain about how awful you think the whole country is, knowing you're doing as little as possible to help. Cool, thanks. That's good advice. I'm appalled at you, Mary Phillips. Uh, Ready when you why? are. Because that man has a garden full of corpses, and you're talking about money laundering. Yes, it's a great opportunity for some profit-centric thinking. You missed a wonderful opportunity to talk about recycling and organ donation. Oh, God, give me ideas. You were studying for a PhD in cultural ceramic history or mm -hmm. cross-cultural underwear or something, and I was very young. Very foolish. Mm. Now I see you for what you are. And what's that exactly? An intellectual cesspit. A middle-class disaster. A guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. Who is a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember... on WCTR. Look at that. The Hendersons are getting a new fence. Ah, who cares? They're swingers. I want a new fence. We just got one two years ago after your parents were killed. I want a new fence. That's it. We're never having sex again. Need a home loan fast? At the American Bank of Los Santos, we'll help you get the debt you need to make life easier. We'll show you how to look richer and be poorer. Your home is your equity. What exactly are you saving it for? You need to impress people fast, not in 20 years. It's only a risk if you get into money troubles or the economy changes, which doesn't seem likely. Life, then all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Terrible! No wonder our studios are surrounded by protesters. How could anybody find that offense? No, no, Jack, it's appalling. Your insensitive portrayal of disabled people makes me physically sick. And the idea of you calling someone slow-witted is frankly laughable. Hold on, hold on. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, no, no. I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow. But I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah. Don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth, about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. But Ho Chi was a character. Exploder was a movie. Right, right. And I was there, and I should have killed them all. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, uh, Jack, Jack. Uh, all I'm saying is you launching missiles from a special wheelchair and killing innocent civilians is somewhat insensitive. There's never any innocent civilians in life. If the Reds roll down the street right now, what are you gonna do? The Reds lost, man. It's, it's over. You can come home. I'll shoot those bastards with this! The family killer! Jack, Jack, put that away, please. What, this? It's a submachine gun! Come on! It's not serious! Oh, but you're Billy Dexter! Who put you up to this? Gorbachev! And you're alone? But he keeps threatening to kill me! Do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lovely state out there. No, no. 
You should come down. I heard what you said about me. You think steroids shrank my genitals? No! no you said no. Put the gun down! My balls? Please! I I'm sure you have huge ones. That's right! Please stop! Come on, they haven't shrunk. Touch them! No. Feel them! No! Come on, stop! No. Do something! No. Touch them! Touch them or die! No. They're still big! Oh, God! They're huge, That's Jack! That's right! Yeah, Mom! Easy! Mommy. Don't grab them like that! Oh, boy, I was kidding! What, are you a boyfriend of mine or something? Hey, 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 hey! scared there for a minute. I, <laughs> I, I, I cracked myself. Take it easy. It's not even loaded. Ooh. Oh, I'm oh, Dex. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess it was. Oh, okay, Billy, don't get around. Get up, boy. Get up. Come on. Damn it. His brain is leaking. Help. Oh, there's only one Nobody. thing to do. I gotta defend freedom. No time to cry. Only time to die. Welcome to the land of freedom, bitches. Who wants to hear about your problems? From Las Venturas. Hey, dude, my name's Brian. I'm calling from Las Venturas. I want to talk about my heart. Why do men just repeat back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's because my wife's been brain dead for years now. Oh. So sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly ruining my career. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude, though. She wouldn't even notice. I mean, I get away with it all the time now. Even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. The passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, last night, I wondered what it would be like to be brain dead. Then I watched my time. God, I'd love to live in that house. Oh, look, Nick, I was listening, and I figured out, you know, that I can help out some of y'all clients, you know. This is none other than Jizzy, the pride to love, the Pleasure Domes Club. If anybody okay, is out there alone, Get in. first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be alone. You understand? That's why I'm in the business of keeping people with company. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem and they need to pick me up. They need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girls. You know what I'm saying? They gonna keep you company, have you feeling good. And this goes for everybody. I don't care who you are, how old you are. So come on down and hang out with me if you're lonely. And I'm gonna tell you something. You won't be lonely from the moment. The Wild Traveler. From Peru to San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around...